Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Crafty Fox of Minecraft Military Force, and today we are going to be building the M12 Abrams tank. So, this is an American third generation main battle tank, and here's the design of what it looks like. And this is actually the fourth design that I have right here. So, I have four designs, and I'm going to show you like the previous models that I did. So, we're going to go all the way over here. And I built this in 2012. It was one of like the first things that I built in Minecraft, and here's what it looks like. It was supposed to be like really functional with like these arrow cannons you can fire with like redstone. And there's also an interior. And with the driver's seat over there which you can't really sit in. And here's like the munitions. And um, the next generation after that I decided to go like more realistic. And this is in 1.5 to 1 scale. And this is built in 2016 so second generation. Here's what it looks like. It's not quite there yet, uh, but it's close to what we have over here. So the next one is Generation 3, and this is built in 2017. So this is actually, I uploaded this video tutorial like two years ago, and I decided to uh, redo the design just to improve it because it's not exactly as accurate as it could be. Uh, but yeah, you can see the difference between Generation 2 and Generation 3 with the introduction of birch and some more detail to it and this is the current generation generation 4 so this is in 2019 I just redesigned it completed it today see it has a lot more detail and it's more accurate than the previous generations and uh, one of the biggest things is like making the turret um, more closer to um, the chassis itself because before it had like a huge gap over here and I just made it more closer to like the real design making it like a real life Abrams tank and I also did change up the front you could see I just made this just sandstone instead of like the treads going all the way up and I also um, and I also add some more detail on the sides like some armor plates and um, this wheel this is a spare wheel in the back a lot of Abrams tanks they have them and yeah I think this is the best Abrams tank design that we have so far and uh, let's get started. So we're gonna get started using sandstone slab. Let's place that uh, hovering above the ground. Let's make it three blocks wide, like this. And I'm gonna make it 10 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Fill all the way in towards the back. Then we're gonna go back to the front and we're gonna add stone brick slabs to the sides of the front and also the sides of the back. Next we're going to go to the front and add gray wool right behind the slab. Skip a block and then fill in the rest with gray wool like this. All the way back and one above the back slab. Same thing on the other side. So these are the wheels for the treads. And then next step we're going to take stone brick slab, add it between this gap like that. And then we're going to take cut sandstone and add a wall across the sides like this all the way across. Same thing on the other side. All the way across. And the front we're going to add upside down sandstone stairs in the front. Alright. Now in the middle there's going to be um, two sandstone stairs facing each other like this. Middle of that sandstone slab. All right, then we're gonna get to cut sandstone and add a three by seven on the inside, so seven blocks long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and fill all the rest in. We're gonna take birch buttons and add it to the sides of all the wheels like this. Same thing on the other side. And then we're gonna take birch wooden button, add it on the side right here. And we're gonna place a spruce button next to it. Then we're going to skip two blocks, add a birch button, skip two blocks, birch button. Same thing on the other side. So birch, spruce, skip two, birch, skip two, birch. So for the engine in the back, we're going to take bedrock and place two blocks in the middle on the right hand side. Cut sandstone on the other side, then three ladders across in the middle. Then we're going to take um, sandstone slab, add it in the upper slab to so the sides of that. And we're going to take stone brick slabs and add two of them in the middle like this. Then we're going to add sensor slab in between each of them. 
and on the outside part two and then we're going to add a two by actually a three by five of sandstone slabs like this it should cover up this part this part I mean <laughs> and then uh, there's going to be an upside down sandstone stairs um, a row of three in the middle in front of this so I'm going to try to place that down so here's one two three in the middle and on the sides there's going to be sandstone slab All right, and then we're going to add sandstone stairs facing inwards on that middle part and next to it we're going to add another upside down sandstone stairs facing the back like that same thing on the other side and then we're going to add a cut sandstone in the front of that stairs and then another upside down sandstone stairs facing the front all right in the middle there's going to be cut sandstone like that and there's going to be a gray wool block inside in the middle and the front of that is going to be a birch um, wooden slab with sandstone slabs on the sides of that and then we're going to take sandstone stairs and add uh, two of them on each side like this facing the front while in the middle we're going to take cut sandstone add it like that and I guess you can make a t-shape like this and then we're going to add um, sandstone stairs in the middle like that and then we're going to take sandstone slab add one and then a double one after it and then three regular slabs so it looks like that and for the rest of the turret we're going to take cut sandstone add three blocks wide or three blocks long on the sides like so and the back portion we can connect that together and then we're going to add three blocks wide cut sandstone in the back and three blocks more of sandstone stairs behind that facing the front alright then we're going to take sandstone slab and add a t-shape on the inside like this and add sandstone slab in front of this uh, hole right here and another sandstone slab on the other side but one block forward like that then in the back we we'll take a birch fence add a row of three in the middle and on the sides we're going to add this spare tire using item frame with a wither skeleton skull inside of it same thing on the other side and then we'll take a birch fence gate add one right here side of the stairs and a birch fence uh, in front of it and another one in front on the side like that then we're going to add uh, this trap door, it's spruce trap door put that there, close it same thing on the other side and in front of that we're going to have an open birch fence gate like that alright so now we're going to add some machine guns, we're going to take a uh, dark oak wood fence gate, place it in front of this hole and put it in front of that slab on the other hole and let's place an end rod in front of that and an end rod on the side of this gun here then we're going to place a birch pressure plate in the middle like that and another pressure plate on the side right over here behind that stairs then we're going to add a birch trap door right above the hatches and you can open them up so it looks like this and we can place a minecraft ladder on the inside like that you could sit in this if you want to and here's what it looks like when you're inside all right then we're going to go to the back and add iron bars um, one on each side and we're going to make it four blocks tall so three four other side same thing so that it is four blocks tall all right, so that's how you build the M12 Abrams tank, the upgrade version. And you, if you have the, like the old one, you can just upgrade it easily. I just changed a couple blocks in here. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, remember to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be uploading more videos like this in the future. And now I'll see you guys next time. Bye.